From White Hat Magazine, I'm Chrisella Herzog, and this is Bosses Who Brunch. March is Women's History Month, and we're celebrating with a special podcast feature produced in partnership with our friends at The Diplomatic Courier. In this five-part feature, I talk to international women leaders who ran for office and are working to change their communities through public service. These women were brought to Washington, D.C. to be honored at an International Women's Day celebration by the Women's Democracy Network, a multi-partisan initiative of the International Republican Institute that works to increase women's political participation, leadership, and representation in elected office in every region of the world. I sat down with these women leaders at the National Press Club to discuss their vision for their countries. Luz Adriana Moreno Marmolejo is a member of the Chamber of Deputies of the Republic of Colombia, representing the National Social Unity Party. She worked in government before she ran for office, and since being elected in 2014, she has focused on economic empowerment and women's empowerment, particularly in joining the two issues. Luz spoke with me in Spanish for this interview, which I have included in full in this episode. Luz's comments are translated today by Kelly Reynolds. Luz, welcome to Bosses Who Brunch. It is so great to have you here today. What inspired you to run for office? Pero más que todo había trabajado en el ejecutivo y se me dio la oportunidad por el ofrecimiento de un partido político de aspirar a la Cámara de Representantes, la acepté y ya estoy en la mitad de mi primer periodo de congresista. Well, uh, I was working on many different uh, social development projects in my country. Uh, but previously I had wo- mostly worked in the executive branch. Um, thus, uh, through my party, I was given this opportunity to be able to run for our lower house, which we call the Chamber of Deputies, and now currently I am halfway through my term. What kind of change do you want to make in your country? What is your vision? Yo he focalizado mi trabajo en dos áreas, uno en el desarrollo económico y otro en el tema de mujer y he unido esos dos aspectos tratando de que las mujeres salgan adelante y yo lo entiendo desde el punto de vista que ellas tengan una independencia económica, entonces he juntado esas dos áreas para trabajar fuertemente por las mujeres. I've concentrated most of the work that I've done in two specific areas. First of all, economic empowerment and also women's empowerment. So I've strived to actually join those two together so that women can really make headway. Uh, Because I uh, sincerely believe that uh, the way that women can actually move ahead is through their economic independence. Um, So again, that's what I've tried to do in my work to promote women is to join both economic and women's empowerment together. That's great to hear. Uh, What is a challenge you faced in your career and how did you overcome it or work through it? Realmente yo he tenido una carrera política muy tranquila. Pertenezco al partido del gobierno Fui la mayor votación en mi departamento, tengo una experiencia en lo público, entonces yo diría que mi mayor desafío es dejar la familia o no estar con mis hijos eh, porque muchísimo tiempo lo tengo que pasar por fuera, porque en la parte de congreso yo pienso que he sabido entenderlo y manejarlo y me gusta muchísimo mi trabajo. Well, you know, I have to say that I think that my political career, I've really had an easy ride of it. Um, I'm in the party that's now in power in my country. Uh, I received, uh, when I ran, uh, an overwhelming number of votes in my district. 
um, and I previously had public experience. I think that the most difficult thing for me has been um, to be away from my children. That's really been the big challenge for me because I end up having to spend a lot of time away from them. Um, however, I think that as far as uh, being a congresswoman, I've really know, known how to handle things and that things have gone quite well for me. What advice would you give another woman who is looking to run to office or uh, enter some sort of leadership position? Yo diría que esto es un trabajo que tiene muchas responsabilidades y que uno lo tiene que asumir con esa responsabilidad. Entonces se tiene que preparar, tiene que estudiar, tiene que tener un gran equipo, tiene un costo de sacrificio muy grande, como lo decía, por la familia. Hay que leer muchísimo, hay que estar atento a todo lo que está pasando en el entorno. Entonces yo les aconsejo eso, que, que es un reto grande, que hay que asumirlo con toda la responsabilidad y que yo estoy segura que lo hacemos muchísimo mejor que los hombres. Well, what I would say to them is that um, this work must be undertaken uh, with a great deal of responsibility, that uh, you need to keep that in mind, that you need to be very prepared well educated, um, you're going to have to make uh, great sacrifices, you need a really strong uh, team, you need to read a lot, um, pay attention to everything that's going on around you, and that this certainly is a great challenge, but one that needs to be undertaken with responsibility. And I do have to say, and I would tell other women this, I am absolutely convinced that we do a much better job than men. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Bosses Who Brunch. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and leave us a review. Bosses Who Brunch is a production of White Hat Magazine. To keep up on future episodes and meetups, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook at White Hat Mag. You can also find more information about White Hat Magazine and Bosses Who Brunch at whitehatmag.com.